Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about room analytics in Cisco video endpoints. Let's dive into it. I'm joining you from the camera perspective of a Cisco WebEx board. Cisco WebEx boards, Room 55s, Room 70s, uh, Room Kits, all these devices have room analytics built in. Room analytics give us some very uh, you know, simple data points, but very helpful data points when we're able to you know, leverage them for reporting long term. A lot of times room analytics makes sense to understand the utilization of a physical space. This helps for real estate planning, for you know, knowing if you need more video endpoints, uh, if you have more than enough video endpoints, and so forth. You get an idea of how many people uh, come into the space and physically use it. So to, to get started, I want to show you the, the feature that drives all of this, and that is uh, facial recognition. I'm actually going to turn on the debugging feature that shows the facial recognition. You'll see that a green box has appeared on my face. That means that, hey, it's a face. Someone has been recognized in this space. As we do this, this data is, is kicked over to an external system uh, using a feature called HTTP feedback. It's part of the API. Uh, I won't go into a ton of technical details, but it sends that updated information over to an external system. Now, the key piece is the external system. Some of this information is available in the WebEx cloud through the control hub, or if you so desire, you can actually write your own application or build your own application. Uh, that sounds tremendously difficult, but it's really not. Uh, to demonstrate this, I actually built my own application in a, uh, a graphical program language, programming language called uh, Node-RED. Let's jump over and take a look at that firsthand uh, the output of that first hand in the application itself. Here you can see the application. It's a very simple graph. Uh, it's based on a couple hours of time. You can see that the people count, the statistics have been bouncing between, uh, primarily between zero and one as I physically come in and out of the room. There was a one point where I had five people in here and I'll show you how, how I actually tested that in a second. But uh, it gives us an idea of, again, how long has this room uh, or what period of time or what percentage of the time has this room been occupied. Again, very simple example, but it's, it's constructive to the overall, uh, the overall idea. So that's it. That's the, the graph. Now, the Node-RED code behind this is also relatively simple. You can see on screen I have a, uh, a couple flows, a couple different logical blocks. Uh, the first one is the CE API. This is that collaboration endpoint uh, API. This is where the video endpoint itself will actually write its data. So when the number of individuals in the room changes, this will send the, uh, the video endpoint will send its HTTP feedback to this point and then is processed further. As part of good uh, API, you know, best practices, we are of course sending a reply, a 200 OK. I then go down and have a node for processing. Uh, and this is simply saying that uh, I want to fix up some of the information. So the endpoint will actually send a minus one if the endpoint goes to sleep. Uh, really, I just want to treat that as zero. No one's in the room. Uh, so I take that minus one and set it to zero. That's essentially the only thing that's happening here. You do see at the top the actual JSON path. The data coming from the video endpoint is in a JSON format or can be in a JSON format. It's either XML or JSON. Uh, and then I uh, ultimately set the, the output to be that count, that number of people that are in the room. From there, I do have a debugging node attached. And you can see on the right-hand side, the number of people has changed. And each time it changes, we get a, uh, you know, we see the update in that debug information. Ultimately, that information is being sent to the people count graph. The x-axis is one hour. So over that period of time, we can see how often it's changed. Uh, I've called it people count, so it's easy to understand what the data actually is. Uh, and that's really it, right? As those different values come in, the graph is updated accordingly. So now let's play some tricks on the, on the application or on the video endpoint to uh, actually get the graph to bounce around a little bit and show more than just one or zero people in the room. 
at this point, I'm just, I'm just looking for positive facial recognition hits. And since this is a Cisco product, it's fair to say that maybe we can, you know, it should at least recognize the CEO of Cisco. So I'm going to bring up a picture of Chuck Robbins on Google. And if I show it to the endpoint, it should, you would think, recognize his face. So let's give it a try. There you go. There's a little bit of glare on the screen. You can see that some of the hits are green, which are full positive hits. Uh, some are yellow, which means it's fairly accurate. And some are red, which means that me not holding the phone still is probably, you know, conflicting with the, uh, the feature to some extent. So with this, we see four dots or four squares total. One is myself. The others are uh, pictures of Chuck. So if we go to the facial recognition, you know, application that I built, we should see those hits reflected. If we look at the graph, in fact, there were a few positive hits, but uh, we do see that the graph spiked to three to four and then back down to one and two uh, individuals uh, or positive facial recognition hits. Uh, so that's, that gives you an idea of how it works. And it's very easy to start capturing this data. There are a few commands you do have to issue on the endpoint itself. Uh, to enable the HTTP feedback. Uh, so check those out in the comments below. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, comment. We'd love to hear other ideas or other ways that you may be using this data. Uh, but that's it. That's a basic introduction to the room analytics in the Cisco video endpoints. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you back here soon. Thanks for watching.